With an add-on lens like these, you can create a true widescreen 1.33 to 1 aspect ratio like you see in the movies. In this video, we will compare the Alancy anamorphic lens to the one from SV Assets and we will find out which one that you should get. Hey, what's up guys? Julian from SmartphoneFilmmakingPro.com here, the ultimate online course about smartphone filmmaking. And today we will compare these two add-on lenses and those are actually my favorite ones that I have. And I've already said it in a recent video that I personally, I love the widescreen look that you get with an anamorphic lens like these. And I would also love to get this with my, you know, with my normal camera. The only problem is the price. For a proper good quality anamorphic lens, you do have to pay several thousand dollars just to get started. On the other hand, if you pick an anamorphic lens for your smartphone, you can start for just about $100. And today we will compare two of my favorite options that there are out there at the moment. So I have divided this comparison into five different categories and the winner of each category will get a point. Oh, and in case you have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to do so to not miss any of the future content. But without any further ado, now let's start with the comparison. And the first category is the price and the packaging content. So let's start with the one from Ulanzi. And here you get a nice silver aluminum case with the lens, two plastic covers and a clamp to mount your lens to your phone in case you do not have a case and you do get all of this for currently about $90 and on the other hand if we take a look at the lens from SV Assets you get a soft case with also the lens itself you also get two covers this time the front cover is actually a aluminum cover so it feels a little more secure and the awesome part is with this lens from SV Asset, you do also get a circular polarizer. And in case you do not know what a CPL, a circular polarizer filter does, well, this is a filter that filters out all the polarized light out of your image. And this is extremely helpful when you are shooting through water or in case you try to shoot through a car window, for example, and also in case you wanna get a very deep blue sky. And for all of these things, you do need a circular polarizer. And you get all of this this for about $130. So if you take just a look at the price, well, the point clearly goes to the Elancy. However, if you take a look at the entire package, in my opinion, the point goes to the one from SV Assets. So I personally, I will call this category a draw and you can decide for yourself what is more important for you. So the next category is the overall build quality. And I have to say both are built really nice. I've said it in the review about the Alancy a few months ago that I really like the build quality. The lens from SV Asset is no exception. The one thing that I prefer from the SV Asset lens is the metal front and the cover of the lens. This just gives it, you know, a premium feel that I really like. So I will give this point to the anamorphic lens from SV Assets. But also keep in mind that the difference, you know, is not absolutely massive, but you can actually you know, if you pick them up, you can actually feel that this is just built nicer. And yeah, in my opinion, this is just better. So the third category is all about lens flares. And that's also one huge reason why I love shooting with these lenses. And that is the lens flares that they create. Usually when you see these blue horizontal lens flares, well, you usually see them in the movies. And these small lenses, they also create some really nice flares. And I was testing them both outdoors and also indoors. And to be honest, I could not see a huge difference between the two. So again, I will also call this category a draw. And before we come to the most important category, which is of course the image quality, I would like to talk very briefly about Smartphone Filmmaking Pro for a second. We are the ultimate online course about smartphone filmmaking. We currently have over 60 tutorials and well over six hours of super high valuable content that will step up your smartphone video quality a lot. We cover all the technical aspects that you need to know. We cover some creative techniques to spice up your videos. And we also cover the entire editing part on a computer, but also directly on your smartphone. And additionally to all that, we have about 10 more videos covering different ways 
to make money filming with your smartphone. Just click the very first link below that like button to watch my totally free webinar where I share the top five secrets to shooting cinematic videos with your smartphone. All right, so let's talk about the image quality. And that's where you could see the biggest difference between the two. Because as you've probably already noticed, those two lenses, they are pretty similar in most aspects. But when it comes to the overall image quality, I always had a little, you know, trouble with the Alancy lens. The, the middle, the center of the frame is sharp, but the edges tend to be a little soft. But don't get me wrong, I still think that the lens looks very good and you can get definitely away with it and you can still get some very nice looking videos with it. But if you compare it to the lens from SV Assets, well, this just has a better image quality, period. The edges are also a little softer compared to the center, but I guess that's just, you know, that's it with pretty much every anamorphic lens. But overall, it just, you know, it looks sharper and it just looks better in my opinion. So this point goes to the lens from SV Assets. However, as I said, you can get great result with both lenses. And the last category that I want to talk about is the weight. And you might be asking, well, why is he talking about weight? Because, you know, shooting with a phone that is super light anyway, and you know, nobody cares if it's, you know, three grams heavier or lighter. And well, I would say it depends if you, you know, if you are just shooting handheld or with a rig, then yeah, you're absolutely right. Weight doesn't matter. However, if you also like to shoot with a gimbal, well, then weight is a very important topic for you. And the Alancy lens only weighs 31 grams. And the anamorphic lens from SV Assets compared to that weighs 49 grams. So it's clearly a lot heavier than the one from Alancy. Okay, so now we know how heavy they both are, but now let's find out what this actually means. The Alancy is lighter, which means it's better and easier to use on a gimbal. And the one from SV Assets is heavier, which means as we talked about before, it's built better, you know, it's better glass inside of it and the overall image quality is better. However, if you want to use it on a gimbal, you will have a harder time compared to the one from Ulancy. So overall, to sum this video up, I think both lenses are really good. And when you plan to use a gimbal often, I would say you maybe should go more with the Alancy. And if you want to just get the best quality period, you should go with the one from SV Assets. But there you have it, guys. Let me know which of those add-on lenses that you prefer and which one that you are currently using. And in case you have not watched my free webinar, make sure to check it out because it's just jam-packed with value. But that's it for now. And as always, if you guys have any further questions, please let me know.